and um, to start off with we're gonna go through like the base coats and like coats you put on so we have a base coat here which is just a clear gloss at 7 mil. we don't know where that's from we got it a while ago it's from Primark I think but got it a while ago next um, we have the matching top coat start which is also from Primark as we know because it says here but yeah that's just a clear one that one does look pink but it doesn't come out pink when you put it on it's just a top coat is also 7 mil. We have the French pink, which you could also put on maybe after the base coat before putting on your white tip, which we also have here. So that's very similar. And there we are. That's the white tip. But 7 mil from Primark. Yeah, and I apologise for any background noise. The window's open because it's a warm day, so you might hear cars going past our people. Anyway, this is another top coat. This is from a different brand. I have no idea where this is from. It's just a clear top coat. It has one of those balls in so that you can obviously shake it around and get it all mixed together and it's just like any other clear nail nail polish we use. I think this can be used for a top, top coat and base coat but yeah. Now we've got some more Primark ones. We have this mint green which is also 7mm and that's like a summer pastel colour. Then we have like I guess a kind of pastel purple. This is coming up quite dark but it's a bit lighter um, and it's just a nice pastel purple colour that's 6mm also. We have the baby blue that also came in the set and all four of these were £3. That's Two pounds, sorry. That's also a free mail and also from Primark. Six mil. Six, six mil, sorry. Then we have a bright kind of. This isn't a pastel colour, so I'm not sure why, but it was in the set anyway. And I just, I just love this colour. It's just a nice neon bright pink. It looks like a bit of a Barbie bright pink, so it goes well with any white tops. You just want to pop a bit, bit of like a pop of colour in your outfit. Then this is just a nice colour, and it's also from Primark. Six mil. Next we have the La Femin Beauty and this is just a plain red and this was from one of our local stores like a cheaper like drugstore type of thing and this was 99p I think or 199 Yeah, this is also by La Femme Beauty these are quite old that's why they've got a bit of a dirty label on but yeah this is just a nice bright aqua blue I'm not exactly sure what oh this one's ultra blue 127 I think the other one is um, the other one before was um, Fiery Planet, which is 16, that one that we just showed you. Yeah. Then we've got another one of the La Femme Beauty, which is an emerald colour. This was also from the same shop, and like the others, they are quite old, so the labels. This is one of the cleaner ones, but... Yeah, that's number 36 emerald. 36. And then we've got this um, bright orange colour. This is Ultra Orange in 130, also by La Femme Beauty. It's just it's kind of like a neon -y metallic orange, and it just looks like this. Moving on from that, we have the glitter also, which is by La Femme Beauty, and this is just called Silver Glitter Number Eighty Seven from the same shop. This is just a glitter coat. Also, if you're going to use these, you will need some really good nail polish remover to get them off because they're really hard to get off. Is the glitter? It's like a top coat but stronger. Ne last but not least from our La Femme Beauty collection is, well, we do have more, but we've got so many in this box, we thought it'd get a bit boring if we showed you, so we're just showing you our, our main ones that we use the most regularly, as you can probably tell this one's like nearly gone. This one is in Ultra Magenta, so it's kind of like a really bright neon pinky orange, I guess, it's just a bit like the orange one, but you can see that it's a different shade, sorry about the car going past, and it's just a nice bright pink to wear. Moving on now, we're going to show you our Barry Am, Barry Am collection. And we're going to start with this. I don't really know what type of colour it is. It's like a dark, pinky, reddy colour. It came this in a magazine, is, which yeah, is it came white. from Buzz, as you can see there. And this is a Barry M limited edition. Next, um, I have a nice bright blue colour. Um, I got three different, three of these. Sorry about that. I got three of these because they're on offer, so it was three for two. So that's why I've got quite a few Barry M's. This is just a nice bright aqua blue. I just really like the colour. It just got caught my attention and it's in two, 294 cyan blue so I'll just show you the wand and then well the brush whatever and then the colour like that and then we've also got a peachy colour which is called peach melba and this is number 319 and this is a um, more like peachy colour and this is just an example it's, I'll give you a little swatch but not on then, That's another Barry M and that was also probably bought on the offer too. Yeah, and then this is a bright, this is like a nice, I don't know, I just really like this purple colour. And it's in number 303, bright purple. 
and it just looks like this. I also do have plain black Barry M nail paint, but it's downstairs, so it's just plain black. It's nothing special anyway. Sorry about the car going past again. We have another nail paint. Today, this is the Crackle Nail Effects. So you put a base coat on them, top coat, and it's meant to crackle through so it shows the colour. This is number 311 nail effects, and this is just... It's a really dry kind of one, because you've got to put it on quickly. Black. Yeah. I've got a few neutral colours here. They're all from different brands now, which is why we're just doing it in a bit of a mishmash of colours. But this is one um, by Sheer Bliss. It's just a nice nail colour. My grandma bought me this one. It's just a nice, kind of, I guess, peachy, glittery orange, I guess. And just comes in a cute little bottle with, and it just looks like this. It looks really nice on, and I suppose you could get away with this at school if you're not meant to be wearing nail polishes. Then we have a Claire's Chip Resistant dark pink colour, and that's from Claire's, and that was probably about two twenty-five. And then I have another neutral colour, which is from Next. This, I think this came in a set, but we're not showing you all the colours, obviously, because we'll be here forever, and you'll probably get a bit bored. This is 6 mil, and it's just, I guess, a nice, neutrally browny, bronzy colour. It just looks like that. So, yeah. Um, we've got a Virgin V nail polish, too, which is like a sherbet cream. This is called Sherbet Ice. It's like a creamy colour, and that's from a Virgin V. Next, I have a Collection 2000 one, and it's the Hot Looks Fast Dry, um kind of I guess it's a bright corally pink colour and it's in there number two number forty three fruit salad so yeah this just looks like so nice bright neon coral then we have the number seven stay perfect colour which is like a bronzy type of colour. It's kind of pink bronze that's the next one in my hand. It's like a peachy bronze so that's that there. Um, That's uh, number 7, 10 mil. And the colour is Oyster 50 if you're wanting to buy it. Then this is a nice lilac y, purpley kind of colour from Claire's. It's just the Claire's cosmetic ones. I have no idea what colour this is. I don't think Claire's ones have colours, they're just a vary, variety of different colours. So this is just a nice purpley one. And if you're wondering why it has a weird lid, it actually opens like this because it did used to have a little. Um, glitter sequin love hats in that you could stick on top once you've done your nails to make a nice effect I guess and yeah that's that. We have the Rimmel I Love Lasting Finish Nail Polish in the 045 Misty Jade that's like a mint greeny colour for the summer. So yeah I like, we like Rimmel. Looks darker but when you look it looks like a blue in the video sorry about that. We will actually post an actual photo at the end of what the nail polish is actually meant to look like. That's kind of the minty colour it should be, but it's kind of coming up blue on my nail yeah. as well, but it's mint but green. But at the end, we'll put, just put, add a photo of the actual nail polish so you can see it. Yeah. So you can actually see the colour rather than it being blue. Yeah, from the Rimmel website. Yeah. We'll just get a photo for And you. then next, this is just a random polish, but because it's quite cute, we thought we'd show it. It's just a nice... And I guess it's like a bit like a midnight blue because of the it's nice like sparkly really good dark for galaxy blue. print too. Yeah. Yeah, and it has nice sequin love hearts in, in there somewhere. So it, every now and then you get one on your nail, which is kind of nice, and it's quite sheer. So you've got to do quite a few different coats. So I could just put it on top of another dark blue colour, I guess. And then last but not least, we have another Claire's one, which is a nice deep red, which I've used quite regularly because I like the colour red, and I have red vans, so it goes with my vans. Um, I don't think this has a colour eye, but it's just a nice red and it's this is a big bottle which is lucky because it's 15 mil so it'll last forever because it's my favourite colour and I wear it quite regularly but let's just open it obviously I do like my um, rituals one because that was only limit that was a limited edition one so that's quite expensive which is why I, I bought it because it's nice so it's just like a nice dark red colour as you can tell it took me a while to get the lid off because I use it so much it's got paint mm. everywhere um, thanks for watching and we're going to add our bloopers, like our mistakes that we made in the video that you'll probably quite laugh at quite a bit since they are quite funny. We have quite a lot. Yeah, so they'll be after the video but please subscribe and like and comment and just thanks. Bye. All right, bye. We have this Essie Nail Polish which is the number 6 ballet slipper. Then we have a Barry M Crackle, we've just got the normal black one and it just has the crackle effect like on the lid. Then we have the white crackle one, say, which is the same, and this is NP316, and that's the same nail effect. Oh yeah, this one's 311 nail effect. And then I have a normal Barry M, which is just a nice pink colour, 
and it's in 305 pink flamingo which I thought this nice colour so 305 pink flamingo it's just a nice colour now we're going to show our nails ink ones and we have nails ink bezel street which is just a, like a creamy colour we have nails ink victoria which is like a dark ready purple -y. then we have another nails ink this one's just from a magazine so it doesn't actually have a name but it's a nice kind of light pink could use it as a french manicure as the base one we have tate which is like a ready colour and this was the same price as the other, which is eleven ninety nine. This is from um, a fabulous magazine, so it doesn't have a colour, but it's just a nice bright fuchsia pink. We have the nails ink from the Beauty Collection, which you got free when you bought a Dove um, deodorant. So that's that one there. Actually, I think this one might be called Ump or O M P, yeah. and then this one's called Atomic. And it's also by Fabulous, it's just a nice bright orange, a bit like um, the Model Zone Beat Party, party one. Um, and then, so it's just a nice dupe of that, I guess. And sorry for the background noise. We have this pale pink one here, which is called Warwick Avenue, which is again a pale pink colour, and this was in Glamour magazine. Next, um, we have this nice pastel lilac y bluey purple, so just like a baby blue kind of lilac. And it just looks like this. It's just also by Nails Ink, but. Um, this is just from a magazine, so it doesn't have the colour either. We have this nail zinc one here, which is Piccadilly Circus, and this is from a magazine too, I think. That's all our nail zinc, and thanks for watching our nail collection. And Bye. see you soon!